Hey, this is Joe at the Adam Auction Barn. Here, let's go this way. And uh, we got a contents auction. I'm going to be videoing this with two different cameras. One of them is a 360 camera, which means uh, I'll set it in the center of the room and you can use it uh, if you want. So you, there'll be two different videos. So depending on which one you're watching on. Um, if it is a 360, you can actually click and drag and move the video all around and look at the interior of this house while I'm videoing with my uh, smartphone. So you're going to be buying the contents of this home. Uh, that's everything. Clothes, um, furniture, uh, collectibles, anything you find in here, everything has to be gone. You'll be required to place a deposit. I'm going to kind of start showing you around as we go. You'll be required to place a deposit when we give you the address and uh, you'll have a specific amount of time to move everything out in order to get your deposit back. I'm sorry, it is a little bit, uh, gonna be a little bit of a grainy video uh, just because there's not a lot of light, uh, ceiling lights and whatnot. Um, the front room doesn't have a whole lot in it here. Still got the Vizio TV, uh, got some paintings and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and move my 360 along with me and just set it up in each room as we go. Let's start back here in the back bedroom. All right, so in the back bedroom, um, again, the family has taken out their personal papers and whatnot, um, but everything else they pretty much left here. As you can see, here's the jewelry that was on the on the desk and dresser. See a little, uh, little collectible pocket knife down in there. There's a pocket watch. Doesn't look like anything too special. Um, the furniture in here, the bedroom, the closet's full of clothes. Got a little bit of costume jewelry it looks like on here. Some more watches. Just going to kind of try and give you an over, overview of everything that's in here. Um, I'm trying to do this one-handed. Sorry. Hey, an amp meter. Kind of cool looking. That one's been around for a little while. So that was just found that on the floor. It looks like it's got the rest of the cables in there. Um, statue. Hey, how about those old cameras that everybody's been collecting nowadays? Got some of those sitting there. And anything, I mean, you who knows what you're going to find buried in here. This house is pretty, pretty full. So it's going to take a little bit to get everything moved out. Go back to the next bedroom. So in this bedroom, we got a bunch of books in the closet. Uh, oops, sorry about that. Got a couple cute old toys, Fisher Price. Closet's got some ladies' clothes in it, toys and games up on the top. Um, there's a piano in here. The bed is also an organ. So let's see if we can. It is a Wurlitzer piano. More clothes and toys and games in that closet. All right, let's head up to the next room. So the closet, I mean the bathroom, just, you know, the towels and knickknacks, things like that is going to be included as well. So back up to the kitchen area. Let me set up my 360. All right. So we got the uh, round oak table and the chairs. Looks like it's pretty clean. There's a nice curio cabinet with some collectibles in it. Outside, you can't see it on the 360, I'll try and take a picture of it, but we have some wicker um, furniture on the back porch. And of course the cupboards. The cupboards are gonna have things in them as well. And that was just food, nothing special there. Let's see if we can find some fun stuff in here. Pots and 
pans. If it's attached to the house, if it's screwed to the wall, it is not included. So for instance, this coffee grinder right here, I'll talk to the family, but right now it's attached. That would not be included. There's some uh, coffee grounds there. I mean, uh, canisters. Dishes. Casserole dishes. Let's see if we got a brand name. Imperial China. That's just got a little bit of a, kind of a catch-all. A couple more just typical Tupperwares and whatnot. Looks like all the cupboards are got a little bit in them. And I'm sorry that, the, like I said, it's a little bit dark in here. Not all the lights are working. My videos are going to be a little bit grainy. Hopefully you can tell. Um, and that's the kitchen. And it's every cupboard's got some stuff in it that's going to need to come out. Pots and pans and whatnot. Let's take you into the next room. Alrighty, back in the office here. Um, looks like this was all there books and how-to books and reference books and the shelving would go as well that's not attached we got an office desk down in here hey I just noticed what looks like a nice collectible knife let's see what we got Western Boulder Colorado USA uh, with the leather handle Blade needs a little polishing, but it's not in bad shape with the sheath. So that's on the desk. A uh, bunch of leather jackets in this closet here. Well, I shouldn't say a bunch of leather. A bunch of jackets. And I see one, two leather. Sorry, I didn't have my video going there. So there's leather. There's leather. There's a nice fleece. That's an exploration brand. That feels like a that feels like a wool jacket. So pretty full in here. A lot of just uh, you know officey kind of things. There's some uh, those old cassette tapes if you remember what those are all about. Take you down. Oh, out in the garage. So the garage is kind of kind of a mess. There's a lot of stuff in here. We got rid of it a little bit just so you have a little more room to to work. But uh, the shelves, I see a little coffee grinder and a canister. Um, there's a nice fireproof safe, uh, uh, not safe file cabinet. Um, all these cupboards and cabinets, whatever you find in those, it's going to be, you know, just this, that, and the other. There's a nice Frigidaire freezer that is included. And again, all these, there's plumbing parts, and there's electrical parts, and there's, um, there's some yard tools. So that's the garage. And there's a basement as well on this one. Bring me down inside. So here's the basement. Um, we got some paintings and there's a TV cabinet with some electronics. A little bit, you know, some signs on the wall. There's some more of those old Fisher Price toys. Um, not much in this room. Encyclopedias. This room, let's see where I can put my. Oops. 
Let me just run you into the ceiling there, folks. Sorry about that. Just ran everybody on the 360 up into the ceiling. So the cabinet here up against the wall that is not included, that stays with the house. I know everybody's going to ask me about that because it really is cute. Um, it's an all porcelain you know, kitchen sink and whatnot, but that stays with the house. So, um, But I did just notice, looks like we got some really cool... thought they were old they're modern uh, Bunsen faucets up there here's some more china and this is Cavalier eggshell Homer Laughlin and there's the china up in there so got some classic um, not classic I'm always at a loss for words when I'm doing this to describe everything to you guys. I'm trying to just show you what I see as I go along. Uh, little kids clothes and doll clothes on here. Um, several boxes of it. Looks like there's some more linens and whatnot down on the floor. Uh, got a, a ski machine exerciser. The dresser. Um, the lamp over there looks like kind of a Victorian style. Kind of cool. Back here in the back room, which is storage. And some leather suitcases. I see some old skis. A whole bunch of jars and canning jars, both. There's a pretty neat old radio up on the top shelf there. Uh, parts. It doesn't look like the cabinet's there. But the front of it looks kind of cool from here. Um, see some more old electronics and whatnot. Uh, boxes, anyway. And then magazines, books, and whatnot. Um, there's some old records down on the... Some old records down there. I'll, there's quite a bit back in here. It's going to take you a little while to get everything moved out. So make sure you have plenty of help and plenty of time. Oh, one other thing in here that I forgot to mention. Set the 360 back down. On the floor here is a couple of old... Uh, uh, there's a Steelman. I believe that's a stereo. And a Zenith stereo. And parts. I'm not going to open them up, but... Um, those are on the ground there. So some old electronics I think you're going to come across. Back up in this room. In this room, there's a, a shop vac back in there. I don't think there's anything. Okay, the washer and dryer. Washer and dryer is going to stay. We don't want to have any leaks when you disconnect the washer. So it's going to stay. This room looks like it may have just been their storage area. I've got a headboard and footboard that's falling on me. I've got some sort of a tile top table underneath. Old TVs, microwave, springs, uh, spring mattress, box spring. Um, this shelf here has got some more of those plumbing parts on it. Oh, whoops, sorry. Turn my deal there back. And uh, there's a gun cabinet. Those three boxes of 22 shells, I think, are full. One of them wasn't. Three of them were. Yeah. That one feels empty. Those ones feel full. 22 shells. And these are... I think those are, I think those are the 22... That's the box that comes out of those. So that's there. More plumbing parts and whatnot in here. So this is just kind of a storage. There's a uh, Magnavox speaker. Some kind of old electronics. So there's a lot of stuff that needs to be moved out. Make sure you got trailers. Read the rules and regulations. So if it's attached to the house, it does not go. Uh, if it's not attached in the house, it must go. You have to take it. So even if it's just trash, you got to get rid of it. So this room down in here looks like mostly just clothes. And we've got a bed down in here. Um, some dressers and furniture back in the back. Painting. And that is just a print. Not an original. That one's just a print. Not an original. Um, dresser. 
Christmas supplies back in this storage closet. I think the storage closet <clears throat> that goes back underneath the steps, so it goes back a little ways. So who knows what you find back in there? So I think that about does it. I'm going to bring you upstairs, make sure I didn't miss anything. And like I said, there's going to be two videos. You can watch them both. They're both being recorded at the exact same time. Um, just to make it a little easier for me. One of them is a 360. One of them is my handheld. Hopefully I don't make you guys too dizzy as I do this. Let's bring you on the back porch here. So I believe outside, this is about the only thing that's included outside. Which is this back porch. And this is the uh, wicker furniture I was talking about earlier. It's a really cute table and chairs. The old chrome style. Barbecue. Knickknacks up on the walls and whatnot. The rest of that wicker. So there you have it guys. The contents, everything that's got to go. I'll put the dates and times in there as far as when. Um, here, do it this way. So I'll put the dates and times in as far as when it has to be cleared out by. Um, I will have the, um, we'll give the location to the buyers. When you come in and pay, we'll give you the location. You give us a deposit. Make sure you read the descriptions. If you have any questions about it, call me. My number is 280-1380. Otherwise, we'll look forward to seeing you online. Thank you.